Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name is Cam Williams, and we have a WTA 500 event this week in the Czech Republic, the Strava Open, and it's got some big names playing in this one. So it's the first sort of big event after the US Open for the women. And we've got some big names, as I said. Let's go have a look at the withdrawal list because there's some big names that are actually pulled out of this event too. Having a look at the withdrawal list, we have Krejcikova. She's pulled out. Mertens has also pulled out. Martic, Pliskova, and Svetolina have all pulled out of this one. There's some top 10 players not playing this event. All right, let's start at the top of the draw and. And we've got eight seeds in this one, and the top four seeds get a buy in the first round. Igis Fiontek, she is the number one seed and gets a buy in the first round in this one. She awaits the winner of Zhang versus Putin Seva, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got a couple of qualifiers going at it in the first round. Winner of that match will take on either Kudamatova or the number seven seed Rabakina in the second round. Then we've got the semifinals of the US Open. Maria Sakari, number four seed, gets a bye in the first round. She'll take on the winner of either a qualifier or Ostapenko. And Ostapenko has had a really good week this week on the hard court. So it could be a very tough match for Sakari in that second round if she does play Ostapenko. And we've got a couple of Czech wild cards against each other. Martin Kova versus Sinia Kova. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the French Open finalist. And number five seed, Pavlichenkova. So the players I'm watching out for in this one, Sviontek, of course, we've got to watch out for her. And Sakari, both the big seeds. And interested to see how Sakari does after a disappointing end to her US Open campaign a couple of weeks ago. But also interested to see how Ostapenko does because she's had a good week this week on the hard courts and playing herself into some form. So interested to see how she can back that up and potentially play Sakari in that second round, which will be a very, very fun match to watch. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number eight seed, Mukova. She takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Kastea or Contivate in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier versus Tormo. Winner of that match takes on the number three seed, Belinda Bencic, who gets a bye in the first round. Then we've got the number six seed, Kerber versus Teichman in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Risk or a qualifier in the first round. Then we've got the wildcard, Garcia versus Bedosa. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Petra Kvitova who gets a buy in the first round. So again, probably going to be watching out for the big two seeds here with Bencic and Kvitova, both hovering around the top 10 and looking to get into the top 10 and really battling it out for the WTA finals as well, which is happening at the end of the year. But also keen to watch Kerber as well. Kerber's come good over the last couple of months. Of course, made the semifinals of Wimbledon and did pretty well at the US Open as well. So she is starting to come good again at the end of the season. So interested to see how she does. But Teichman's a very tough first-round opponent for her. So we'll see if she can get through her first couple of rounds Maybe Kerber can go far in this tournament. So there it is. The Estrava Open. It's a WTA 500 event. A big tournament for the women. And we've got some big names playing. Of course, some top 10 players, some Grand Slam champions or former Grand Slam champions. It's going to be an interesting match. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? Because we all know WTA is wide open. But there are some names that maybe you can pick out of the hat because they've been in some form over the last couple of weeks. Especially like Sakari. Let's see how she can back up that semi-final at the US Open a couple weeks ago. So looking at the draw and seeing who has the best draw and we don't know no such thing as a best draw in the WTA anything can happen but I'm gonna go with Kvitova the number two seed to win this one I feel she's got a little bit more of a manageable draw and she is playing in front of her home crowd so maybe that'll make a difference so I'll pick Kvitova in this one but again anything could happen we all know that again let me know down in the comments below who do you think is gonna win this one so the Estrava Open big tournament on the WTA just before Indian Wells some big names are playing 